Right, take 2000. Uh, hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today, finally, um, I have the video about our new solar system. Uh, in this video I show you how we installed everything, how we built the frame, Marta mostly did, and uh, then in the end you get a little bit of a rundown about how big the system is and why we chose the system, why we designed it the way it is. Um, so if you would like to see that, do keep on watching. Hi everyone. Um, uh, we were asked to take you along on the right that is the upgrade of our solar system. So uh, let me brief you in on what we've done so far. Um, first of all, the old panels are right over there. They're cute and dirty and they provide us with all our electricity at the moment. And uh, uh, we have received the new panels already, but I, had, uh, I needed some time to think how to install them properly so that we can deal with the challenge that we have. Because we have three challenges here. Uh, one of the first of all is we have a bit of a slope, as you might be able to see on those uh, the, the, the differences in lengths of those uh, beams. Uh, the second uh, challenge is that the sun um, does come up here course but it has to deal with the hill so it didn't make sense to point them all the way south um, because uh, then we uh, lose out on the afternoon sun and we don't have any early day sun um, um, early morning sun as you say that and um, the third one is that I'm cheap so I use all the offcuts that I have and I want to use as little of uh, bought stuff that um, as possible and um, so uh, Leia and I, or mostly I, but Leia helped uh, make these beams from the shed that we built in front of our camper van. So I took that, those out and they are treated lumber and I put the cut sides top on top. So uh, everything's treated that, it's under, that is underneath. It won't last 20 years, sorry, won't last 20 years, but it will last for a while. And that's all I'm after and um, we might do some upgrades because I never do things once they have to do, be done twice or three times because I run into an issue or something um, the other thing is that we made uh, a frame over there also from wood laying around and I screwed them together with offcuts because the screws were too short so I have to deal with that and that's how I deal with that uh, I, I don't I don't care about your comments <laughs> um, and the last thing is that I made these little cradles for uh, the uh, for the frame to sit in and uh, then we also have some wiggle room so we can move these up and down on on, on the beams uh, to get the 40 degree angle that we are after because we live at the 40 degree uh, 40 degrees north and uh, that's apparently the best uh, angle to put the solar panels on without having to move them around all day all the time that's it see you next time so tomorrow tomorrow oh tomorrow yeah i can tell you about tomorrow tomorrow the plan is to uh put these on and connect these beams together so they form a little bit more of a box instead of uh singular beams and uh, after that uh, we can put these on, um, on the beams uh, because then they're sturdy and um, then we can put the frame on i have to drill in some holes for the bolts to go through uh, and i have to measure how far they those holes are apart so uh, we'll see how that goes and then uh, hopefully tomorrow or the day after we'll have solar panels on the frame and then I can focus on hooking everything up. That's it. See you guys tomorrow. It's the next day. Well, uh, the progress that we made is that we put the, the, the frame on uh, the, the on the poles and we made the, the, the uh, substructure a little bit uh, more sturdy. And everything is now level. The frame is level and at a 40 degree angle. Um, and the next thing is that we have to drill some holes for the connecting points of the panels so we can uh, drive bolts through them. So what I made is like a little uh, measuring stick uh, and I measured it uh, 99 centimeters long 
and then I put the holes in the places where the connecting points on the panels are, or the distance between them, and I just walk over and make little lines where I should drill the holes. After we made the first holes, we can then measure up 95 centimeters to the top and do the same thing all over the, 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 uh, the frame. And then we have to start hauling the solar panels from the other side of the valley to this side of the valley, which is going to be fun! So we prepped the frame to put the panels on, we drilled uh, enough holes for all the bolts um, but now we have to do something that's not very fun, uh, namely we have to carry all the solar panels from where they are now in the camper all the way up to here. Um, the panels should be okay, they're not super heavy or anything, they're just very big so we need to do it um, with the two of us. And then we also need to start carrying over the batteries, which is going to be terrible because they are really super heavy. We did it, we uh, got all the five panels on the frame, took me a lot of bending in uncomfortable positions to get the uh, bolts connected and um, it was kind of touchy-feely uh, because I couldn't, I couldn't see what I was doing, which is always great. Uh, but now that it's done, it's it's great, it's a good feeling and next up is the batteries, we'll have to put them in the van and uh, drive them down into the valley and then wheelbarrow them up and put them in the battery shed and uh, then the next thing is hooking everything up and of course the inverter and uh, then we have power so step one complete So I actually don't understand much about solar systems, electricity is like magic to me um, and so 
we were very lucky that um, recently a British couple moved in the area. Uh, he used to install solar systems for big companies. So he really knows what he's doing and he's been helping us setting up the system. Uh, at first we thought, oh, we could do it ourselves, it's easy, we did it before on the camper. Um, but it turned out to be a little bit more difficult than we thought. Um, and he was so kind to help us through installing the panels and getting them hooked on the um, inverter and on the batteries. Um, it's still not completely finished. Martin will tell you why in a little bit. Um, but he's been helping us and it's been really awesome and we are forever thankful. I don't know if you watch this, but if you are, Mark, you're awesome. Um, so yeah, maybe you can tell a little bit about the specs of the system. Yes. Because I don't know. Well, um, we uh, uh, opted for uh, five panels uh, uh, of 280 watts each. And so that makes up a total of uh, 1400 watts. And uh, we have um, four uh, lead acid batteries uh, that are to 60 amp hours each, 12 volt. And uh, therefore, because we have an inverter charge controller that's 24 volt, that makes for a 520 uh, amp hour total system. And um, uh, yeah, we, we chose that because that was one of the kits that was uh, uh, offered on the website so we figured that would work together and we extended that that system a little bit so that we have a little bit more that we wanted so that that's the choice we made and uh, the trouble we uh, ran into was uh, that uh, um, I, I thought I could just hook these panels up um, in a series so daisy chain them together and then have one positive and one negative uh, line uh, run to the to the charge controller, and uh, the same goes for those 12 volt um, uh, batteries. Uh, I looked online and I saw that everybody did the the parallel series thing where you uh, hook those uh, um, batteries up in parallel to uh, extend the amperage of the amp hour. Uh, Thing and uh, put them in series to up the voltage, uh, but that doesn't seem to work if, uh, with these batteries because they are rated for a maximum 14 and a half volts. But um, because the charge controller is uh, designed to uh, to deal with that, um, you can make the series complete through the charge controller, and uh, then it would work. Uh, but um, it was even uh, a little bit of a trouble for the uh, for Mark to to do so because he's not used to that either. So he had to really do his research, and I'm glad that he did. And um, so now tomorrow he will come and uh, hook things up for us uh, because I I, uh, I no longer dare to do it because it's different than what I learned and what I yeah have experience with. Top nice. <laughs> we love them. Um, so we bought the system from a Spanish website and as Martin said uh, they had several kits and the smallest one we th um, and the second smallest one we kind of took something in between so we just extended the system with two panels and two batteries or something um, and yeah so in the rest, I don't know, the rest of the world, it's usual to do it one way. But in Spain, it's quite usual to do it this very weird, specific way. It's not weird, it's different. It's different. Um, and so we didn't know about it, but it did, in the end, we figured out, it did say so in the little booklet for the charge controller. I think so, yeah, but yeah. just for the two batteries, not for the... Four. Yeah, so we extended it, and you can extend it, that's no problem. Um, but because it's different from everything that we learned about setting up batteries, um, it just was a little bit of a uh, figuring out process. But yeah. it's gonna work. It's gonna work, yeah. Um, we'll have enough power to uh, uh, power all our um, stuff that we want, so... So when uh, designing this system, we thought of 
well, solar is perfect for Portugal because we have about 300 days of sun here. Um, so it's really no question about what's the best alternative um, energy source. Solar is quite easy. Um, but what we do think about a lot here is not just going back to the old ways. So um, what you sometimes see is that once people get green energy, they just they use a lot more electricity because then it's all because it's green, it's fine. Um, but solar panels and batteries and all that stuff still use resources <coughs> that we get from the earth and that are finite. So we only want a small system that really powers the essential things. Um, which means that we want to have a washing machine, very important, and um, we can run the water pump on it and we can have a small fridge. And uh, right now we can't even run the laptop at night and I would like to work in the evening as well. So um, those are the things that we considered for it to be big enough. And with this bigger system, I can just work on the computer at night and we can run the washing machine uh, during the day. Um, and when it's raining, it's probably not a good idea to use the washing machine because it has uh, washing machines have a very high peak when they're spinning. Um, but that's no issue because we line dry everything anyway. Um, so you want to do laundry when it's sunny. Uh, so that you can also dry it right after. So we don't really have issues with um, kind of changing our behavior according to what works at that moment. Um, some people might have different, um, might weigh things differently, um, but for us it was important to really keep it as small as possible for now, really only use the essentials, and then if we ever think we need something more, um, we might also look into other ways of um, getting power, so uh, maybe we'll, we will get a wind turbine or, or we'll build one of our own. That can be a fun little project in a year or two. Uh, but for now this can run the essentials and then, uh, yeah, we don't really need much more. No. And we still have the old system, so we could still uh, put that back on the camper van and uh, have guests use electricity there yeah. and uh, so it's, it's still, yeah, we won't throw them away, we'll still have a use and we might even be able to hook up uh, a pump on that other system to run during the day uh, to uh, pump water up to the other side of the valley, um, but that's uh, all in, in, in future projects. Yeah. yeah. Um. So yeah, we are very happy to finally have a Vicar system. It's going to make some things possible that we haven't had for almost two years. Um, so that's really good. Uh, finally, finally getting back a little bit of luxury, um, if you can call a washing machine luxury. Um, so yeah. And a fridge. And a fridge. Cold beers. <laughs> That's the video about our solar system. I hope it was a little bit helpful. Uh, maybe you can take something from the considerations that we had uh, when designing the systems. If you want to support us doing the work on the land and making videos, you can find my Patreon link in the description box down below, uh, where you can also find all my other social media stuff. Don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs> Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on Wednesday. Bye.